Welcome to the week. You know, that, that does make sense as to how it feels. Yeah, how you guys doing? What's going on? I totally just remembered I can actually load this game. Load. Load, load the game. Load the game, please. Read the mission log? I don't know, maybe. Oh, so yeah, how's it going today, Ellie and Turret? What's up, guys? Thank you for the host, Ellie. Girl. <laughs> hey, Ozzy, how you doing? Also, I love the fact you guys can't right now. Thank God. Meta room, you sorry, dude. Oh my god. I hope to god that's not how they call it in Japan. You know, how are you guys all doing today? What's up? What's happening? Not fast, Jesus. Christ, I thought myself how to play Arisa better than you thought yourself how to play Arisa. Dude, that's impressive. Just learning a character without even fucking playing her? God damn. Good for you. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Arisa always seemed like a super good character to me. I just am not the biggest fan of tanks. I took a nap. How was it? Magical. <laughs> you know, I've never actually said yes to this. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, everyone's dead. What? Hey, Golden, what's up? What, what? As one would say. God fucking... I... <laughs> Thank you for your biddies, Golden. I appreciate them. Hey, Ozzy. Welcome back. We're, mis we're, we're at a mission log for the, like eight more minutes because I'm... Also, last time on... Sorry, sorry. Last time on... Snake must try to rescue the number chief and Dr. Hal Emmerich to find out how to stop the nuclear storage. After going past the high voltage electric floors in the nuclear storage building in the second floor basement, Snake sees a bunch of dead enemy soldiers and the self camouflaged shadow. Sensing the endangered life of Dr. Emmerich, Snake heads for the lab in the northwest of the nuclear warhead storage building, second floor basement where he's trapped. Wait, that's fucking Otacon in there. Is Otacon Dr. Emmerich? I hope not. Also hope I'm trying to play D.Va. D.Va, just, just LOL. That's all you need to do. LOL. 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 Are we playing on, what are we playing, Metal Gear on, or are you talking his Overwatch? Also 50 bits to play the second match. He did it. GG. It's so easy, you just have to type in 50 cents now. Or, you know, keep your money, like you should. Even though those are bits are probably just advertisements, right? <laughs> No, not the laptop. Oh, that's shitty, but yeah. It's not that bad on PS4, it's just like... It doesn't handle as nicely as it would with a mouse, I'm pretty sure. I have bits. Ellie, you work for me, you don't have to give me bits. Even though I don't really know what I have you do. Because people here are super nice. I did see that, Ozzy. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I understand someone's the law. The question is, is that Fire Emblem character? Is that from an Animu? I just don't know.
It's actually, what's the secret organization's purpose? There are things you should probably be telling me. Yeah. I mean, that's fair to it. I personally can't agree with wanting to use controller because keyboard and mouse to me it just feels a lot nicer but i won't deny that playstation 4 controller just feels so nice natalia polkonskaya i don't know who that is i don't know you haven't made the so wait are you the leader of the secret organization then I still don't know who that is. Somebody from Russia? Oh no, we don't have Well then how do you know it really exists? I understand, Ozzy. I mean, she is adorable. There's no denying this. But she also seems to not fuck around. Couldn't because the controller felt too weird. Yeah, Xbox 360 always felt weird to me. I never really had one. Like, I tried my brother's and it was always just like, eh. AKA, she is the prosecutee. I appreciate that pun, sir. <laughs> Also, why did I not bring milk down here with me? There's cayenne fucking pepper in this bit. God damn it, me. So I have huge hands. I also have larger hands. It sucks because it makes my penis feel sick. Even though it was fucking tiny to begin with, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Didn't you buy them all off eBay, Ellie? Who you knows? Maybe you just need to clean it. Three sixty D pad is garbage. It doesn't do it. PS2 controller, but I'm a weirdo who likes buttons over triggers. That's fair. I mean, buttons aren't bad, but I do like the triggers. They, they feel nice. I did clean them. Well, rewire everything. Learn Xbox controller repair. Also, shit, I only have a minute to finish eating this, goddammit. What am I eating? Today I'm eating fried rice. I have fried rice with cayenne pepper, garlic, and mozzarella cheese. Wait, maybe mozzarella or gouda. One of the two. But it's pretty tasty. And you don't taste the cheese. You do smell it though, so it's nice. Um, I assume that means this game is good, Ozzy. And yes. Oh, you play Bastion? <laughs> I like how that's the first impression you get. You want to eat it? I can tell you how to cook it sometime if you have, like, things to cook with. Ah, but wait, Metal Gear isn't the greatest game of all time? 
I'm a little surprised by your character, Ozzy. If that is who you really are. I mean, head pats are solid, but Meryl. It rhymes with Cheryl, so. Things to cook with, I've bought. Okay, what you're gonna need? You're gonna need an egg, you're gonna need cooked rice. You're gonna need. Literally, whatever the fuck you want to put into it. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Girl, oh, so wait, are you playing Katawata Shoujo? Is this Hanako all over again? Finally got to do one. <gasps> A new portrait, fuck yeah. Crash Insane Trilogy because of Uraku Keychain. I have a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and pay that off in the next paycheck, so that's just waiting for me. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Oh, inflicted. Oh, from her. Wait, so you're this girl's master? Is that what you're saying to me? Oh, as a doctor. Okay, so you're a good boy. I understand. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not a bad boy. Also, let's fucking go. I have to tab back into the game, that's right. Although I'm first going to pop out this chat so I can actually not have to just look to the other screen for everything. There we go. That's better. I like it. Load you, okay. That's good. I'm proud. Let's fucking... Time to fight. Yeah, time to get my ass kicked. How do I play again? Nah, dude, he, he has more health than me, it's bullshit. Can I pick up these bullets? Give me the bullets, please. I'm gonna put the most hours in with Bastion. Eh, I mean, fair enough. I think my most hours are still with Anna. I think I have like, fuck, I'm gonna say 50 hours clocked with her. <laughs> we already have to stop bugging on. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, don't use your sword then. How do I punch? I don't know. This is gonna go great. Ah, that's good, Snake. Ah, this fucking teleport. Good. Now, it's just like a Mexican teleport. What? And to is the basis of all combat. Okay. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Then do it. Which 
you gonna do? Oh god, no, Snake. You don't need to wall. I don't know what I hope to accomplish with that, but... on Tinder today. You try and talk to people and they just fly right by. <laughs> okay, no. Tinder's just bullshit to be doing with though, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Also, though, I feel like there has to be a way to do more damage to him, though. Because, like, we do fuck all day with our actual fists. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. That's good, Snake! Now you're walking with that does nothing. Good. Now we can fight the warriors. And then is the best oh, of all combat. Fuck. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. I forgot to turn down that. There we go. That should be a bit better. Do your fucking cartwheel bullshit. Okay, goodbye. Ow. There, is that, does that sound any better? I nerfed the hell out of that. <laughs> I the game. Well, you gotta be able to hear the game. Oh, there's shit over here. Ow. That didn't work. God, I wish I had a dodge roll. Hit and run tactics. Oh, Jesus. That didn't work. And yeah, no, college don't fuck around. Okay, no, I, I punched you in the dick. That's a bullshit. Sure.
Your hitbox is so large. And I can't move for shit. GPS's work in Maya? I didn't know Maya had that- ah, okay. Had that kind of support. Swipe right- I don't know what swiping right means. God fucking damn it, Snake. Snake, answer me. Snake? Snake? Yeah, Snake's gonna be dead a lot tonight. Wait, can't I just shoot him? Like, after I make him drop his sword. Fight is that ninja has a lot of life. Let me see why. Because he's a fucking cyborg ninja, maybe? Oh shit. I forgot there was still glass there. Alright, hit and run. There we go. Come on. Goodbye. I hate the fact that you clip through that. So you sleep if you need to sleep. Holy fuck, eight hours of cutscenes? That's a little extreme. Come on. Pick of him riding skateboard while in a dinosaur costume. I mean, he's got a good sense of humor, but you might want to be able to see a face. Okay, this is a problem since I can't manually heal with the rations. I kind of just have to wait for him because I can't use the thermo. Did you just get faster, sir? Wait, do I just have to find him and he won't attack me?
Are, are we? We're playing hide and seek, aren't we? We're playing fucking hide and seek. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing, sir? Did I just- I just got very hurt. What the fuck happened? Teleport, sir. That's it. I remember that punch. Who the fuck are you? I swear to God, if you're big boss. Do you remember Snake? The field of battle, the clashing of bone and sinew. And he was a zombie. Well, fuck. Be careful, then. Mob Psycho is fucking great, yes. Shit. I did not dodge. Come here. Alright, I'm so close, me. Don't fuck it up now. Okay, that's that one was bullshit. Shit. Please, just... No, just keel over. Keel over. I swear to God, if that counts as my death. Ozzy, I, I, I thought you meant when his life runs out, as in when he goes down on a knee and staggers, run away from that. Not that he would explode in a mass of electricity upon death. <sighs> it's okay. I, I've done this enough. I can do this. I just did it. We can do this. That's just hit stun. Yep, I, I thought that was what you meant. Anyways, I believe. We did it. We now, can do it. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. That's good. Damage used to just went live, so we must hate us. A hundred percent, yeah. Only a fool trusts his life. Oh my god. Now GST is free to do whatever the fuck he wants. I hate life. How many times does Bryce have to bend over for the boss, the world? Um... Probably 11. I hate life. Why do I only get one hit on you sometimes? I hate this. I, I dislike him so much. Cyborg fuck. 
Okay, though. No, we, we know what to do. Hit and run tactics. Like, we got three rations still, we're doing fucking great. Two rations still, we're doing fucking great. Okay, now you're upsetting me, sir. I... I punched you so much. Okay. Okay. Okay, I should be able to take it. Thank you for telling me where you are. go. Oh, you're there. Hi. Why do you want to be hurt so badly, you masochistic fuck? Like, Jesus. Like, do you not feel as a robot? Is that it? That's it. I remember that punch. Why do you? You psychotic fucking robot. Do you remember Snake? No, I don't. Battle, kind of. The clashing of bone and you? Not entirely, no. I I went and become a dog musher. It shit's different now, okay? Also, you know you're straight up teleporting right now. Okay, well I got bitch smacked. Always catch the AV. Sir, you really need to, like, go see a therapist. I just realized, does he instant kill me with that electric blast? Regardless, I have a ration equipped, so I shouldn't be able to instantly die. are you? Oh.
Okay, good, he's dead. I felt that snake. That's good. Do you remember me now? No. Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. You are not okay, sir. Again. What's happening? I'm losing myself. Why would medicine work on you? You're a robot. should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Him being put out of his misery makes sense. How long are you gonna stay in there? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> we can't stay here forever. Oh, Otacon. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. Marry me. Information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. 
From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. I like how he names it Rex. Otacon, you're the best part of this game. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? Hey, Amaka. Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? I like those Overwatch emotes. They're solid. How you doing today? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. He slips down. <laughs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Fucking 76 and Reaper. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I mean, to be fair, maybe you should not be a weapons developer. I used developer. to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. You have Where's to be my sidekick here? now. Where on this base are they keeping it? This is why you need to pull yourself together, Otacon, so that you can follow me for the rest of your life. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. No, but he has such a cute name now. I don't want to kill it. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're going to destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? 
Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. Why didn't you use that before? Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Damn it, Meryl! Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. disguise she has such a cute way of walking she kind of wiggles her behind you were really looking well she's got a very cute behind way of walking huh <laughs> oh what a cut if she's disguised as the enemy you'll have to contact her when she's alone huh there's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself where is that don't be so dense Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. No, you're fuck. Strange. Now, please. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. I didn't Japan know what that stood for. Successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Make Voltron, Otacon. Like you can do it. Today. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Yeah, you're restocking me right away. <laughs> Like, <laughs> fuck yeah you are. I will take free shit. Please and thank you. Save as codec frequency. Uh, I have to do that. Okay. Fuck, what was it? Um, I think you said 141.12. One I think you said this one was the one. Also, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Overwatch emotes. Did you only subscribe to one? Are all of these only one person? Jesus Christ. Kind of impressed. Alright, anyways, call this thing. Fuck. Sure, link them all. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake. The Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Okay. You want to bring me shit, Otacon? Bring me things. Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Well, shit. 
one HP, that's great. Oh god. Those are pretty good, Baka. Those are pretty good, mailing his dialogue in every new room. Wait, every single new room. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of dialogue. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't know Deep Throat was actually a Oticon, despite being told. Alright, best girl. Let's call our waifu. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the codex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. Well, maybe if people just stop fucking trying to kill each other, that would be a better situation. But yes, missing dialogue. I am not talking to Mei Ling in every new room. You might be our waifu, but still. That was awkward. Alright. It's a fool's dream, though. It unfortunately is currently. Oh, that's the door opening. I was so confused. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, did the window just fix itself, or...? Okay, I think I got everything. And yeah, this room's a dead end. Okay. I think I have to run through the gas room now, if I recall. Right? I get gassed if I go out here. What's Otacon doing? Otacon is hiding like the bitch he is. Although really, that that's fair. Otacon is our support character. Oh Jesus. <laughs> getting into yes that do I actually have any reason to go over here right now I just realized fuck it's level six I've already been in all these rooms. Or both. That is a good way to look at it, sir. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Master P, no word. Dude, the intel's just so good. It must have come directly from Mei Ling. Fuck. Welcome back, Ellie. Okay, I think it was on the second, or the second basement floor. Okay, now where was there a level 4 room? That's the question. I think there was one in there. Oh, maybe I can bathroom this now? No, I can't. Can I open the door? Mams, let me in, please. I mean, Intel on Meryl. Oh, 
Oh fuck, there's two of them. What happens if I choke Meryl? Is that an option? Just choke her? Fuck! He dies. Okay, so this is game over? Okay. Choke her to it anyways. Yeah, what if she likes it? She could be into it. Follow her quick enough to the bathroom and you can get her in her underwear. I thought there was already another option to do that. Also, I just realized, why didn't I pull out my gun? I literally have a gun. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? I can stealth now, let's fucking do this. It's the first cardboard box. Well, f fuck me then. Goddamn right, it's just a box. Huh? Oh, it's Meryl. Like, that was Meryl, right? That's the only female soldier noise I have heard in this entire game. Follow her? Okay. <laughs> she fucking bolted! Like, she ripped the cardboard off me, like, what am I supposed to know? Mr. Under- we don't all need to see her fucking underwear, damn it. I'm just- I'm... Meryl, where the fuck are you? Meryl? Meryl? Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. It is. Hey, you know what? I'm respectable. I don't need to see her underwear. Psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. What? Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that? Mark? Start entire game restart oh. now. Oh, Jesus there's... Christ! It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does, killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? 
Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Do I genuinely need to restart this to go have her in her underwear? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Maybe Metal you should Gear do that anyways. Maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. Wait, what? You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. I remember seeing that on Facebook, Turret. Okay, That's good let's knowledge. Go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. We have to escort Meryl, don't we? That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Let's see her nips. I think you could always see her nips. I have to escort Meryl, don't I? Look at me. Fuck's sakes. Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Stream delay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, Meryl. What? What I, is it? I don't know. I was told to do this. What are you staring at? You silly. Come on, snake. 
Are we actually just fucking flirting in the middle of a fucking war? Don't stare at me like that. Why do I get the feeling she's about to shoot me? <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Bullshit, you're psycho, whatever. You totally have thoughts for me. What? What is it? What are you staring at? I don't know. Are you red yet? You look Come slightly on, red. Do you become a tomato? Do you go tomato red? I need to know. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Get to move on to where? Oh, what? you are very red now. It? Jesus Christ. Okay, then. What are you staring at? Uh, I'm staring at your now cherry tomato face. Alright, well, time to get a move on. You're red forever. Where the fuck's commander's room? That's the bathroom. Snake? What are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Meryl? Yep. Why? Why would I punch her? That's a... No! That seems like such a dick thing to do. I, I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Fuck you. Okay, let's do this. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Psychomantis. Psychomantis is here. <laughs> Punch her now. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, Meryl. She's, uh... She's, uh, not snapping out of it. Um... Is she a robot? Uh, I'm gonna go with yes. What the fuck? Well. That's, uh... That's a bit awkward. Apparently I am Psycho Mantis. Okay. Fuck. Confused. No, um, you remember that dude who, like, killed, or no, like, the dude who they were, like, trying to mind read the codes? He's controlling her. So we have to go deal with her. Although, why we're seeing through her eyes, yeah, I have no fucking idea. Anyways, though, no, I, I know for this fight. Don't I need to, um,. I need to switch the controller to the second port, right? That's the only way to beat him. Or rather, the easier way to beat him. Uh, well, fuck it. I'll, I'll die once and then we'll just do deal with it. Living. What did it make? You need to save. 
need to not die. I'm going to. Shoot the team until it does. Dies. Well, yeah, but... Wait, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Well, shit, Mailing. Ow, Mailing. Okay, fuck it, let's dance. We'll just, uh, we'll just do this in case you try to instantly murder me or some shit like that. Do I want your computer? I, I, I don't know if I want the computer or not. Why can you float and appear behind people? So just punch her to death while she has a gun? Fuck. I now understand, Ozzy. Meryl, I'm sorry for doing this. Good, she's down. Yeah, I'm quite shit at this. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Apparently. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Yep. like stupid. I can read you like an open book. Yeah, I believe that. Okay. Put your controller on the floor. It's on a Put table. Down as fast as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. 
Are are we seriously doing this? Cause my controller's not moving. My my controller didn't move. No, I I actually can't. My keyboard just sat there. What? The fuck just happened? Chairs at me, okay. This game breaks the fourth wall constantly, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Wow, you set those back so nicely. Okay, never mind. Ow. So I guess guns just don't work on him okay. Do I have to punch you? to hit you without having to do the whole second controller thing, am I? That is a forceful chair, okay. This, this is not this is not happening. Okay. Well. Fuck. You can, but it takes calling Colonel a bunch and dying once. Well, I've died once, so I mean, that's a good start. Hey, BS. How's it going, man? But what does calling the Colonel have to do with anything? How's your work going tonight, man? This game reads us like an open world. Yes! It does! I I kind of feel like Psycho Mantis just explained all of that reasoning. Why? I see, I see. I hope your work's going good tonight. Just got here, so I hope it doesn't suck later. What, your work or? Yeah. I mean, it's never busy for you, though. You mostly are just doing laundry shit, right? You missed a register, you got the second controller port advice, and then you die, and it knows you can't do it. Ah. Uh... So, I have to go in there, call Colonel enough so that he tells me, hey, Stop sucking dick. And then I die. And then the next fight, it just works. Is that how it works to my to my understanding? 
Okay, let's go suck some dick. All right, guys, time to bend over for a psychokinetic person. He makes shit happen with his mind. Perfect. I, I want to skip things. Are you okay? Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. You know, I like it how there's no red flags when she says that. And we get Corson, so we just got a busload of agents who are on vacation. Oh, God. Dude, the resort I used to work at got turned into an Asian resort place, and it is just going under so badly. Like, not to be mean or bad or anything, but yeah, it, it's just... It's not going out well. Okay, I think I just have to do a lap of the room and... Go to sleep, Meryl. enough to do this with you having a few punches on her, I gotta say. Oh, fuck. Meryl, don't hit me. Okay. Dealt with. Useless woman. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You. You doubt my power. Why have I not skipped this yet? God damn it, Hideo. Ah, I see. Colonel, help me. That psycho mantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Guys, I need more help than that. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. How do? He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. Colonel, I am going to bug you for a while. His psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. Okay. No, there's not. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. For God knows whatever reason. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your control. Yes, that's not happening. I've got it. Colonel, that, that's not happening. I don't know how many times you got it, but I mean, like, I don't got it, and that, that's kind of the problem. 
Okay, so I take it I have to go die right now. And then next fight I call him and it's just like, oh. Well, Colonel, time to use your psychic to block his psychic or some shit like that. Take me. Mantis. Take me. Please, I, I just want an early death in my young age. There we go. Dealt with. Colonel, this is why you should have just let me have it. Okay, come on, Meryl. We have a trip to go on. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. <laughs> the fuck in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how just beating the shit out of her triggers that. Oh, this is the problem. I'm on the other side of the room. Oh, shit. Commander, if it's just telling me not to hurt her. Okay. It's okay, I won't hurt her. I'll just punch her in the face a lot. Go down. Thank you, Meryl. Useless woman. Up to camera. I'm curious if that actually tricked people. Help me! Snake, is there some reason you can't use controller port two? Yes. Uh, well, it's okay. Do you see something that looks like a statue on both sides of the room? Okay. Yeah. You mean those things with their faces all wrapped up in leather bands? Yes. Attack those statues to uncover their faces. Why? Those statues were modeled after Mantis's real face. Mantis despises the sight of his own face. He suddenly sees his own disfigured face staring at him, it might break his concentration. Snake, if you destroy the faces of those statues, you should be able to disturb Mantis's psychic powers. How do you know that? Did it. Mantis, do you not like your face anymore? Ow. Ow. Okay, Mantis, I, I just need to know if I can punch you. this gun although I do have to say oh Jesus Christ I like the fact I can actually gun him you know ocelot's the only other dude I've been able to gun ow Man, 
Mantis. You know, for cheers, I still do have to say that they be hurt. Fuck. Wait, is he saying why as in why can't he read me despite the fact that I am not doing- oh shit. Oh fuck. Can I shoot you from over here? I don't know if I could shoot you from there, but regardless, my aim is shit. I missed you point blank. Ow. Come on. I know you got another one. You haven't blown your load yet. Let's go. Oh, I have no ammo. Okay, um... Big gun. Because you saw your ugly face, I guess? Ow! Okay, now I have to deal with both of you. Ow. Down again? Okay. I have no rations. Stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl. Meryl, get on the fucking floor and stay there. No, it cannot be. No. You stay on that floor. I have no rations. I got greedy. I just got so fucking <sighs> Oh well. We can do this, I believe now. Although I'm gonna have to go beat the shit out of those side things again. Let's do this, Meryl. Come on. Got some bitch to kill. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. 
All right, Meryl, go to bed. Get in the room. Let's get in there. There we go. You're not Meryl. Stop being not Meryl. I hope I didn't just accidentally beat the shit out of you too much. Back on the floor. Darling, back, back on the floor. No. Sit. I'm gonna end up killing you by accident, aren't I? God damn it, he. Oh, fuck. oh, well, you know, at least you blew up your own. Die again, do you? Okay. What's up, Ellie? Is this battle going to be the entire stream? I don't know. I thought the other one was going to be, truth be told. your psychic make it so that that goes through walls? Phantom. Could he ever move shit on his own like that, though? I ran into that and I deserved it. I mean, that is true. I was curious about, did, I for some reason felt like I heard there was possible to do happening. Snake. Can't move fast enough. Yeah, I, I did see the video of where he tried out the designs as older. That it looks so Why? good. Why couldn't I read your mind? Because you're ugly. As confirmed happening, though. 
Yeah, it's not confirmed, but I mean, we can hope. Fuck. I forgot you keep throwing shit at me. Oh yeah, the show's awesome. Like I've still seen it. Need to sit the fuck on the floor. No, it cannot be. No. Okay, that shit goes faster now, doesn't it? I have been meaning to rewatch it though. Like, the last time I rewatched it was probably a year ago. And, you know what? Not long enough, for too long a time. Fucking hell. Mantis, are you just gonna keep fucking doing this? This is literally the fight now, isn't it? Welcome back to it. How did your thing go? When he goes in the future in the series finale, it's still good. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, wait, wh which future one? Like, Evil Danny future? God, you piece of shit. How? Like, sir. Snake, if there's some reason you Fuck it. Uh, that doesn't help. <sighs> okay. successful in doing that. But I want to know is how the fuck do I hit this man? <laughs> Sir. Like, you, you literally disappear before I have a chance to do things. I just supposed to fire through the chair because the last time I did that I got hit by the chair or rather end tables in this case and that labor was like fuck you for getting rid of the problems shit kind of I'm gonna die because stun lock now yeah no it's straight, like straight up this is just Could I chaff the place? That doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, it would probably just like, obviously it wouldn't continue as it were. Also, yeah, I, I, I've got nothing for how the fuck I'm supposed to deal with this. I've got absolutely nothing. Like, 
It just depends on if the ghosts suddenly try and interact with the rest of the world. I have an idea. Department has no idea what to do with those characters now. He wants. He said he wants. To, yeah, we we were just talking about that. Thought with the evil Danny Phantom has been changed. Oh yeah, naturally. Like fuck, different timelines and shit. So, there is a multiverse in that show. That's the guy who's trying to be hip with the kids by drawing YouTubers. Did not know that. But apparently, you can do this. Okay, never mind, you can't do that. Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. The internet lied to me. The internet fucking lied to me. Well, damn, okay. <laughs> I like this one. You have to unplug the PS1 and that kills him. When you turn it back on, you told Psycho Man Mantis has died. Oh, shit. Okay. The Danny Phantom game's good. No idea. Did a crossover with every show he's created for his new show, Bunsen is- wait, crossover as in like, fucking Danny Phantom and Tinny Turner are, are on the same shit? Danny Phantom was in it, and that was fun. I mean, that was a fun game, but I, at least on DS, Danny's ability was literally just phase through shit. Like, that's it. Fairly appearance, tough puppy, and Danny. Oh god, Tough Puppy. I saw like one episode of that for maybe three minutes. They all had a minor ability. I mean, I guess. But I mean, yeah. Didn't like Tough That show had like one season, didn't it? Okay, I'm I'm gonna get Psycho Mantis back to that percentage and then I'll figure out how to fucking kill him. Timmy Turner even in the game? Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh I think it was Timmy, uh Jimmy, Danny Phantom, and one other, right? That two seasons. Well there you go then. I am incorrect. Spongebob, right. Yep, that's it. I'm sorry for punching you before you're mind-controlled, Meryl. <laughs> what are you thinking? 
I understand, Meryl. <laughs> Go get mind controlled so I can hit you safely. Kimmy's been in every Nicktoons game. I mean, he's probably one of their most popular characters, right? If not the most. had an ability where you can control enemies. How the fuck did that work? Sit down. Useless woman. Optic camouflage, huh? Now let me. No, stop reading my memory card. Trade was not worth it. Yeah, I also didn't have Unite. I don't think I even had Volcano Island. I think my little brother did. the wrong button to see if that worked, but okay. Really? I'm sure I've mentioned him before. Sweet, that does work. I just can't shoot you during that. Okay. For some reason you guys just made me remember what that time I tried to play fucking Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh my god, Mantis! Oh fuck. <sighs> Bikini Bottom. I mean, I tried it. I tried it seriously. I mean, I sucked at it. 
but I tried it. I think I, I don't actually fuck remember what happened. You will never read me again, sir. Now that I know your tricks. You think someone bought it and lost it badly. Oh. That's shitty. Ow. Oh, I, yeah, I, I can agree with that. That one was really well done. Move close to the Mall of America. What is the fuck, the Walt Mall of America? As a Canadian, I do not know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Same engine in this battle. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it looks exactly the same. You can't tell. Jesus Christ, please stay away. Snake, you are point blank. Biggest shopping mall in the USA has its own zip code inside the Snake Tunes theme park. There's a Nicktoons theme park? And also, holy fuck. That is huge. I'm about to kill Meryl. Like, straight up. She's down. Good. Earth's a big spot for sex trafficking. I could believe that, but also am disappointed by that. I don't even give that much of a shit about Meryl, goddammit, but I knew that would happen. I hurt her too much. Wait, Legoland is my favorite place. There's a Lego- wait. Fuck, I might have been there then, because I remember as a kid going to a place called Legoland. But that's the only thing I remember. It was called Legoland. Also, fuck it, I'm scouring this goddamn floor. If no one else is here, I'm taking all the shit. And yeah, I know what you're saying. Fucking, um, has all that shit. Or its own zip code. That's ridiculous. Ah, oh, there's thing. Thank you. We'll take those. Perfect. I mean, I remember Legoland being fun. 
This is that the main thing was the roller coaster, and I'm a bitch who does not Snake, like heights. What are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Meryl. Please just, just hush. My head. We could definitely okay? go to the Nickelodeon uh, or the Nicktoon theme park. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. Well, it sounds like fun. So that genuinely is upsetting, though, if that's a big sex trafficking spot. I would have laughed if you had just gotten kicked out. Quit shitting on my dreams. I don't like roller. Yeah, I'm not a fan of roller coasters either. Legoland was fun though. Because he said Legoland is okay. Only okay. Apparently, I can't shoot you off the bat. That's depressing. Thank you, Bryce, for knowing what I was going to say. Hey, maybe I'm not the only. Fuck. Maybe Psycho Mantis isn't the only psychic here. Have a body pillow? Dude, which girl you got on it? Putting together like a bell, like looking at stuff made with Lego. Ah, fuck. I see. I understand why it wouldn't appeal to you as much then. Because now a lot of Lego land is just like, look at all this shit and build shit. Just a standard body pillow. Oh. You should get someone on it. I've seen entire cities. Okay, when you say that, you mean like full scale cities, though. Did I not get the fucking other ration? Or did it just get consumed already because I suck? Because I suck, okay. Disneyland with a girl who wants to rise to work on my back here, though. Uh, well, that would require some, like, intense electrical work and stuff, too, wouldn't it? Little detail that make them look alive. Well, fuck. I have not seen that level of Lego mastery. skill but really deep. Yeah. No, natu naturally not literal cities made of Lego that you can fucking walk in. At least, you know, normal Lego. Uh, 
videos on LEGO conventions and stuff people make so cool. Well no, dude, you can build anything with that shit. Well, mostly anything. As long as it's rectangular. Fuck me. Like a LEGO set that they release a piece of roof every so often, it's like $200. No idea about that one. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Because fuck you. This is the third time we've done this because fuck you. What's wrong with the rides? I I couldn't see her. There was a wall. Stop, Meryl. No, don't you die, Meryl. I need to figure this shit out because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. Stuff no one will care about like who slash what's in that build. Okay, is there a Shrek ride? Or is that the entire park? The thing with the goes ever since I was a baby and I goes to play with for hours with them. I still do every now and then. Ah, uh, dude, that connects. That was my shit. Connects is great. Little city of a train set that runs along the ceiling. Dude. But you would need something to hold it up is the problem. Which I mean you certainly can do, but I don't know if you want to stick Legos into your wall. Alright, Psycho Mantis fight. Let's see here. Wait, he's in other... Psycho Mantis is in other games? Are we killing him right now? Okay. What do you do? How do I kill? So do we be able to like, ow. I thought we were still on the subject of Lego. Well, fuck. Exactly DreamWorks, but not mostly. There's a Hotel Transylvania. Okay, it's a giant building. There are random scenes of the hotel. Nothing talks, nothing moves. The floor is barren. You see everything. Ah. Bought both DreamWorks and Illumination. I don't remember who Illumination is. to watch how to train your dragon with you tonight i need to sleep unfortunately i'm sorry god damn it how how do you mantis please show me all right fuck it we're doing it this way Somebody else, show me how to mantis. Ah. 
I'm a dumb and disappoint myself. All right, let's fucking do this. Despicable Me sing Secret Life of Pets. Ah, I saw Despicable Me. Not the other two. Is the How to Train Your Dragon TV show any good? The movies are great. Um, the first two seasons, which are each twenty episode each, are they're they're not bad. They're okay. There's there's something. Animations kind of sucks, but they're they're decent. Once it gets to the things where Netflix picked up the show and went on with it, show's fucking great, and I still need to finish it. I would recommend watching, though. Alright, fucking hit me. I want to do this with full health. Fuck. Because I can see your optic shit. dealt with. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, you used the other... I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. <laughs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. Then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, 
The fate it will bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Jesus, your face. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. It's not the only place. But I it's large. don't know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> Thanks, Mantis. It feels kind of nice. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go.
Meryl, you need to stop dying, and I'm gonna try and call Otacon to bring us shit. How does that sound? Good, good, okay. Also, yeah. God damn, that is... Snake, you are a sad man. <laughs> But hopefully by the end of this, you like someone. And namely that someone be mailing. Because fuck Meryl, she's not our waifu. A psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. Are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people happy. It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Good point, Otacon. Okay, I scared myself. How many more hours of this game? I have no idea. Ozzy would be the one to ask, but he is knocked the fuck out right now. gonna call Maidling before that, Meryl. Most- what the fuck? That is not what I meant to do, Otacon. I'm sorry. Metal Gear. I understand. What's up, Snake? And also, yeah, no, I didn't get to say this earlier because cutscene, but fucking, um... How to Train Dragon. I'd say it's worth the watch. I did quite enjoy that video. If you're looking for something. You said that you wanted to become a pilot. Did you take an aptitude test? Well, I've got bad eyes. You probably didn't know it, but I'm wearing contact lenses. So you failed your aptitude test, huh? Yeah. It's ridiculous. We're not flying around in biplanes anymore, you know? That's right. Today's pilots fly jets that go several times the speed of sound. Exactly. At those speeds, the naked eye isn't that useful. You need sophisticated electronics to see what's really going on. So, is that why you developed your radar system? Yeah. I wanted to develop a radar system that would help soldiers make better, more informed decisions. So your radar shows what's really going on, huh? Mm, it depends on how you interpret it. Like beauty, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You can say that again. Google it on how long... Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean... There's six members of Foxhound, and I think we just beat the third one. And if I'm correct, one of the girls, or one of the members was named Sniper Wolf, and we're hearing wolves now, so I get the feeling. So Meryl, where the fuck did you go? Oh, you went over there. I somehow feel this will end poorly.
cannot go that way, okay. Fuck! Shit! Okay, okay. Mama, oh god, there's mama and papa wolves now. Oh, Jesus. Meryl, Meryl, help. Oh, fuck. There's Mr. Rogers Twitch channel's number up now. I'm dead here, aren't I? And yeah, no, I saw that it was... Okay, I am being eaten alive. And yeah. No, I saw that they were gonna do that, but... Be honest, Mr. Rogers, I never watched that as a young one, so it it doesn't particularly do anything. You know what? Why the fuck am I running? I'm sorry, but it must be done. Used to be a sniper in the Navy. Impressed if that was his jumping career, like Jesus. Oh fuck. Punching you does nothing, okay. Fucking hell, snake, stand up long enough to shoot these bitch bastards. Did you go? Please just... <sighs> Fuck it then. Let's go blow up a wall, I guess. Now's not the time to fuck the wolves. Now is the only time. Please let this work. Wait, what? Oh. Oops. Snake human. Um, yes. I think. Snake is a clone. There you go.
He's also a chicken. No, that, that's just the guy controlling him. Yep. Okay, I'm done. Hey, Meryl. We have a puppy. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. What are you talking about? I had to murder literally all of them? I don't know. You love me though, little buddy? Because I love you. Look at him. Look at him. He is gyrating viciously, but okay. Have a good night, turret. I'll talk to you later, man. Alright, what do we name this dude? Do we name him Sir Wolfie the Second? Because the first Sir Wolfie died because I was inept in fucking until dawn. <laughs> All right, well, Meryl. Hey, what's up, Boo? I'm sorry. What are you thinking? I fucked up, and also, apparently, the dog loves you more than me. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. Oh, thank God your footprints stay. Also, how the fuck are you doing this, Meryl? Like, straight up, how is she doing this? So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a huh. little bit. Only a little? I mean, it's kind of a big leap in logic, but I guess. Oh, this is not okay. Well, she's dead. Time to go on. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't 
slow you down. God damn it, Meryl. I, I, I can still help. Killing yourself I is not helping. Help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Meryl! Damn. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. <sighs> okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Naomi, are you so- are you salty over the fact that I'm saving her? Also, shit, um... What can I do? She fucking see me with the cardboard box, okay. Do I have any dummies or anything that I can huck out? A stun grenade, maybe. Maybe Naomi's evil. It would make sense, I mean she really hasn't been helping this whole time. Some advice, please. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, the sights never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam so her hands never tremble. Okay. You can give me more than that. Stay out of her range and shoot at her with a sniper rifle. Yeah, but where can I find a sniper rifle? I can't ask Meryl. What about Dr. Emrick? He's been on the base for a while. He might know. Good point. Alright, Otacon. Fuck. Otacon. Time to prove your usefulness to me. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second-floor basement of the tank hangar. The second-floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. Fuck. Okay, well, um... You wanna just bring it to me? Otacon, where is there a sniper rifle? There's a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. 
Alright, second floor basement of the tank hammer. Meryl, don't Get die. Snake. Kind of doing that. I don't trust him. Who, Otacon? Nah, Otacon's actually fine. Otacon's a bro. Fucking Deep Throat is the one I wouldn't trust. Shit. Okay, safe. Nice. Alright. Pretty sure this was the tank hanger. I will take that. Thank you. Wait, can I just go restock my shit then? Oh, there's a dude pissing. That's great. Fuck. Okay, second floor basement. Let's do this. Is this the tank hangar though? No, this is the this is where we had that fight with what's his face. <sighs> Fuck it. Where was it again? Like, is this the tank hanger or... Okay, let's think. Because we first got on the island. We went through the first base. We came out of the first base, ran across the ice field. That's where the tank was. And then we got into that building and that's where we are currently, right? I think that's what happened. But I just I can't remember for sure. God, Emery, why do you do this shit to me? Oh well. Battle Gear Solid Sniper Rifle. Because I have given up. Temporal Farrier, back of the elevator that has B1, B2, and 4 one is coming from da 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 da. Wow, that is unfortunate what I have to do. Okay. Probably not going to save Meryl this time. Probably just going to go get that damn sniper rifle if that's the case. Is it annoying to get? You basically have to go back to the room that we were at at the start. And I'm talking like way back.
Why, what's the point? Just plain annoying. Well, I think the whole thing that they wanted to do was be just like, you have to leave Meryl in this dire situation for a bit, sneak back to get this rifle. Like, that that's what my thought was, but yeah, that that's... The way that I see this, this is also pretty tedious. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I wish I'd noticed that was there. And now there are mines everywhere. That's lovely. Fuck me. God fucking damn it. Oh, God. Alright. Well. Fuck it. I... Let, let's just pick this back up tomorrow. And I'll go get the sniper rifle or something. Maybe. If I have time. But, yeah. But I... I I think I I don't want to run back. I don't want to run back right now. So yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> I also really need to be. Okay. So anyways, with that, um, yeah. Thank you very much for hanging out, everyone. I hope you had a fun time. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Metal Gear of me. Suffering because I cannot stealth to save my life. Like in anything, I somehow in other games it works. This one, nope, 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 nope. I I need magic to stealth. It's the only way it works. So yeah. Until next time. Have an awesome day, awesome week, and um, yeah. Bye.